So, no exaggeration, The Last of Us Episode 3, entitled Long, Long Time, which was directed by Peter Hoare and written by Craig Mazin, who also wrote the first two episodes. Probably hands down one of the best episodes of television that I've seen in quite a long time. I can remember when I was pulled in to two characters and completely wrapped up in their life and the way they slowly but surely fell in love. Not to mention, do we get to see Joel and Tess back together in a flashback, interacting with Bill and Frank in this episode? And there was something very calm about the way this was written and directed. The pacing was very calm, calming and welcoming. And I don't know. I never have seen a character written like Bill who had everything under control, was prepared for everything. This is someone you want around in a post-apocalyptic world. Um, But he wasn't ready for the love that came into his life. And, my God. I mean, San Junipero episode of Black Mirror kind of got me like this, but this one, especially being a gay dude, really got to me. And my heart was just beating, waiting for something bad to happen. As in this show, evil and awfulness and tragedy is just lurking in the air. And it was beautiful, and it was heartbreaking, and it says a lot about what people can do with adapting a game and really taking source material, and really driving home some universal themes of love and friendship and companionship. You know, in last week's episode, we saw Ellie wading through a flooded hotel lobby, kind of in awe about the world that she only heard of. And then this week, she spends hours in an elegant old house, and it's just filled with vintage furniture, uh, piano, the dinner that was served, their last dinner together, and has absolutely no context whatsoever, but is basically like a kid in a candy store. Um, Then she finds that letter that was written by Bill, left for Joel, and Joel immediately goes outside and has a private moment of grief, and I don't know. Uh, I, I, it's just a beautifully written episode, and I'm in awe of it. It's definitely going to win some Emmys, and it should. That Linda Ronsant song, uh, Long, Long Time, uh, is a song that I used to hear when I was a kid, and it's amazing how it's being brought back. And My God, do yourself a favor and check this episode out and this show.